Hello everyone and welcome to Commander 99's Multiverses series. Just a quick reminder of the point system we have going. You receive one point for eliminating an opponent, and the last player in the game gets an additional point. You lose points for eliminating players before the fifth turn, and lose a point for eliminating each opponent in a single turn. Now let's get into the game. Uh, Russell, why don't you start telling us about what your commander does? Sure, so I'm playing Varal's The Scar Striped. This deck revolves around um, playing a lot of creatures. It's a, it's a birthing pod, kind of Yassan the Wanderer deck where we play creatures all the way up the curve and we take advantage of some of the under-costed high power creatures with, with large drawbacks. So things like um, Death Shadow or Phyrexian Dreadnought give us the ability to put large numbers of counters on our creatures for low costs of mana and very low opportunity costs. So it's really an efficient, low to the ground um, creature deck. Cool. Jonathan? Yeah, um, I'm playing Kozlik, The Great Distortion. It's a uh, mono-brown control deck. I like to put a lot of uh, artifacts into play that ramp me up so I can play them on an early turn and then just play a lot of big spells. Alan, what are you playing? Yep, I'm playing uh, Minion Den, uh, Wildborn. It's a red-green ramp deck. Uh, we're just going to be playing lots of lands. We have Volokut. Um, we have Rumble Hulk, to what to do with all these lands, and uh, like Green Sun. So we're just going to ramp up and play big spells. All right, and I'm Austin. I'm playing Rune of the Hidden Realm. This is a Bant Blink deck. So there are a ton of Enter the Battlefield effects, and I'm just trying to uh, remove my creatures from play and bring them back into play to hopefully get a bunch of value from their Enter the Battlefield effects. Um, starting hands. Russell, what do you what do you got? So this hand is it's a pretty average hand. This is what this is kind of what this deck does. Um, we've got some some good stuff to do. It's not a it's not crazy powerful, but it's definitely strong enough to keep. I have a hand that is definitely going to make me a target. Um, I'm going to keep it, of course. Um, I might die first though. <laughs> <laughs> so this hand is pretty sweet. Um, a little light on land, but it's fine. We have we have ramp spells, and then we have something to curve into, so it's 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 keepable. I think I'm gonna mulligan this hand. I have two lands, but if I don't draw a third one, it doesn't really do me much. And then even after that, there's not too much going on in this hand. So I'm gonna mulligan real quick and just kind of hopefully draw something a little bit better, something that gives me uh, some early ramp, because this is kind of what this deck does, being uh, able to have access to green. I want to be able to use the early turns to ramp. Uh, for this hand, I have three lands and uh, some card draw. Um, some early turn interaction. Hopefully I can draw up some, some creatures to hopefully interact with Rune a bit better, but it's keepable. Okay, so we'll start our first turn. Yep. Draw. That doesn't change the plan at all. Play up Forest and cast Birds of Paradise past the turn. Yeah. All right. Um, so like I said, I'm going to probably make an enemy out of everyone. I'm going to start off by Ancient Tombing. I'll lose two life. Um, I'll play it into a Soul Ring, into a Metal Worker. I'm going to say go ahead and pass the turn. Okay. Oh, man. Cool. All right, draw. Well, we were. I thought we were playing the ramp deck, but <laughs> it seems like we're being out-ramped. <laughs> Um, I'll we'll just start with forest and to map pass. Okay, draw for turn. Um, okay, I'm gonna play a planes and I'm gonna swords the plasher. Gain that two life back. Oh, I don't like that. Thank you. <laughs> so pass the turn. That makes my hand bad now. Um, uh, good. 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 So we're going to start this turn by paying two life and cycling a Street Wraith. OK, it's a pretty, uh, pretty OK one. Hmm. So we'll, as much as we don't want to do this yet, we kind of have to. So I'm going to bog you. I don't have a graveyard, but OK. Yeah, it doesn't. I guess I'll, yeah, because I'll bog you. Okay. <laughs> I, yeah, I forgot that was this one. Yeah. 
Swords is uh, exile. Just need a, just need a black source. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna play a Dusk Watch Recruiter, and then I'll pass. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and draw. No, we just hope that somebody doesn't play anything. That's upsetting. I'll play my land for turn. I'll two, four, six. Five. That is five. Five. I can't count right now. That is five. And lose two life. I will lose two life. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I only ramped to five mana on turn two. Yeah. <laughs> I could have played Kozlek if you didn't. Uh, Jeez. Yeah. I'm glad you had the swords. You're welcome. <laughs> um, you died last. Would have been a game. <laughs> uh, Chandler. Oh, man. It's just a mana dork. So go ahead. Put some at potential eight Draw. mana next turn. Mm. Mm. Ten with mana vault. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> um, I mean, that's what the deck does. Foothills and fetch for some red source. I said I could cast Kozilek, but he wanted to source my guy for some reason. Um, it was too fast. It's too fast. Too furious. <laughs> too fast <laughs> and furious. <laughs> that, that is 100% understandable. Yeah. Slow things down just a just a tidbit. If somebody plays a turn one metal worker. It's usually a good idea to kill it. I can mm -hmm. say that. Yeah. Is it though? Well, it's not if you're the player who played it. <laughs> okay. All right, we're gonna grab a mountain, and then we're gonna crack our mat, and grab something else. Airboard? <laughs> Feels like we should grab a ghost quarter. All right, we're done. Oh no, no, my land! <laughs> I'm gonna trigger Dusquatch mm -hmm. trigger. You played the map though. No, no, no. no. But oh. you played this right. Okay. I thought he played oh, the map this no. turn. He didn't play a spell during his turn. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. We cracked the map. Yep. So, untap, upkeep, that flips, and then I have to play two spells to transform it back. Yep. Yes. Get it. Path to exile. Mm, I don't think that's going to happen. It is a possibility, but I don't know if I necessarily want to. It just reduces the cost of your creatures, correct? By yeah. one. So on the flip side, I can look at the top three and find a creature. Mm-hmm. And yeah. on this side, it makes them cost one less. So I'm really okay with either side. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I just don't see any need to flip it back right now. So play a Scattered Groves tapped and run out a Soul Ring. <sighs> so that I top decked into. You're up. Hmm. Okay, so. Uh, now it's our turn to make some enemies. <laughs> One. Well, let's see. Hmm. I've got a lot of choices here. I'm going to play Viscerous here. Okay. We'll cast Eldritch Evolution, sacking the Viscers here. Any responses? I got nothing. Nope. Okay. So the way this card works is the sacking is an additional cost. So if you were able to fizzle the spell, I would still have to sack the creature. Yes. So now I get to get a three or less converted mana cost creature. Do you know what you're getting? Yes. What is it? Uh, so I'm getting Yisan the Wanderer Bard. The other option here is you can get Eternal Witness and return Eldritch Evolution, which is a very strong value play, but it doesn't get the you know, the kind of ramping up the chain faster. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it does do stuff, but it's not a, I don't think it's as good. And I'm actually just gonna pass the turn after that. In your upkeep, I will trigger Duskwatch Recruiter. Well, Crowl and Horde Howler, but. Yeah, it'll flip back. So we need to go ahead after that. Oh. Let's see, what to play. <clears throat> Seven mana. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, the deck with the least mana is the ramp deck. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take two. Yep. Um, I'm gonna play a Blink Moth urn with five of that. I'll have two floating. And what, what does that card do? Uh, at the beginning of each player's pre-combat main phase, if Blink Moth urn is untapped, that player adds a colorless to his mana pool for each artifact he or she controls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They'll play a 
Mm -hmm. retriever. And okay. say, go ahead. Mm. So you have a potential three mana that you can add? Yes. Okay. Yep. Uh, we'll play our ghost quarters and uh, play some small ramp compared to what everyone else has. Cultivate. <laughs> Cultivate's a good card. It's a good card. We're catching up a little. We'll put a mountain on the field. And you have more cultivate. lands than me right now. <laughs> and put a force into our hand. And I'll uh, pass. On top. Uh, draw. Okay, I will play Don't your one mana. Yeah, I'm oh. gonna add one mana from uh, from owning a soul ring, and I'm going to play a hinterland harbor. I'm going to tap the soul ring and use the mana to play mimic that, huh. and then I'm gonna use my three mana remaining to play Rhystic study. Uh oh, oh man! And pass the turn. So we're a little concerned here because the opponent's going to get to cast Kozilek on this turn. He is. So what if they say I won't? You, you I won't, won't believe you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody believes you. We'd like a way to interact with this, but I don't think we can. So we need Caustic Caterpillar in the deck. Mm. It'd be great. Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have it. So. We're just gonna try to do our do our best instead. Um, and uh, unfortunately, our best is just playing a blood throne vampire and passing. Are you turn. paying the extra one? No. Oh. Draw. All right. So untap. Yep. Draw. Ooh. I'm gonna add three mana. Do a blink ball turn. Mm -hmm. I'll play my land, radiant fountain, gain two life. Also good. Especially with the ancient tomb, it's yeah. a nice interaction. Yeah. Ten mana. So four. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. Mm -hmm. Lose two. I'm gonna attempt to play uh, Kozilek. <laughs> Cast trigger. Any responses? No. Are you paying the extra one? Yes, I'll pay the extra one. Okay. I'm gonna draw four. Must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> If only that was four words. <laughs> <laughs> Exclamation point. Yes. <laughs> um, let's see. I am done after that. I will say go ahead and pass. Oh. It's a pretty good turn. It's a pretty I good like turn. <laughs> uh, do we even like attempt to cast our commander? <clears throat> I don't know. Depends on where Jonathan's going to attack with Kozilek. You just said 12 12 menace, right? I don't yeah. you have any other. So it can't menace. 12 yeah. 12 menace. Discard to counter. Uh, attempt to cast. Yep. Yeah, I'm fine with that. All right, result. Sweet. You have to ask the blue player over uh, here. Not paying the extra one. Not paying the extra one. Draw from Mystic Study. Yep. We're going to play our land for turn, and then our additional land for turn. Yeah. <clears throat> Could play. I think this is the right one. Play Dragon Master Outcast and pay one for a stick study. Okay. All right. Pass. That as well is okay. <laughs> that is. It's a good card too. Fortunately, it's starting to look like the board's going to get wrapped here. Not for so. me. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know you, how I feel about that. You're the only one that has a wrap, probably. What if I wrap it? Would you be okay with that? Yes. Just, just wrap it. All is dust. <laughs> All is dust. Um, so I add two colorless mana during my main phase. Uh, play Sun Petal Grove. Is that Kozilek attacking me? Um, Nobody knows. I think he's just going to stay on defense. Stay on defense. Okay. Probably. Uh, second follow-up question. Do you have a seven converter mana cost card in your hand? <laughs> just asking a lot for of a cards. friend. <laughs> Uh, he's asking for Depends me. what that seven convert mana cost card does. Uh, it's a blocker. That's what it does. Um, we'll see. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cast Hornet Queen. 
Okay. That's six, I'm going to let that resolve. Okay. I'm going to get my insects. So I'm going to make four one ones with death touch. <clears throat> and pass the turn from there. The end of your turn? Cool, but we have two choices here with our mana. We could either... Didn't you just summon her last turn? No. No. No? She's oh, untapped okay. once. Um, so I can either look at the top three cards with Dusquatch Recruiter, or I can get the Yisan going. I think for now we're going to get Yisan going. Uh, could be wrong, though. If we expect a board wipe to happen, sometimes it's right to just get more cards in your hand with the Recruiter. <laughs> but we'll do the greedy play. Uh, we're finding the card Death's Shadow, and when it comes into play, it's going to die. Yeah, because it gets minus X, minus X equal to your life, life, life total. total. Yep. Uh, the reason we're tutoring that up, obviously, is because of the interaction with our commander. So We Let's are see. strong. Nissan real quick. Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure it's a green creature. No, it does not say green creature. I thought it said green. <laughs> so this is a verse counter. It's not a 1-1 one -one counter. <laughs> okay. Uh, now start my next turn. Tap up keep and I'll draw. Um, From the field, right? Yeah, you can. This does yeah. trigger mimic that if you'd like to put a... Um, I think I'm okay. Okay. Just want to be sure. Oh, right, just put it on there. Yeah. You can exile it, and he can't savage it. Well, he's not at that point yet. Oh. That's why I think it's okay. You can cast this general offense. So you get me with a 13-13 birds? <laughs> yeah. That is a choice here, but we found a much better card than that. And we're going to cast it. <laughs> it's a Seedborn Muse. Oh. That card's pretty good with, with Yisan. What does it resolve? Uh, do you have something with five? Mm. It does Bring not it really Counter. By Kozlix. Mm -hmm. Sure you want to do that? I'm positive <laughs> I want to do that. Did you also pay... Did you pay the one, study? yeah, no. for Rhystic Study? Okay. All right. I'm, I'm happy with everything that just <sighs> happened. I drew a card. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else for Seaborn you? Seaborn Muse is gone. Go ahead. Russell's sad. And then we're going to be sad we're now. Drunk. We're all going to be sad. I'm gonna play my land. I'm gonna uh, add four, three, sorry, three, mm -hmm. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh no, is it? I'm gonna play a Dark Steel Forge. Okay, so they're indestructible. All artifacts are indestructible. Including Dark Steel Forge? Yeah. Including yeah, Dark, Dark Steel Forge. Forge. It's just this artifacts you control. All right, well, the Kozlik's not indestructible. Um, since I played a colorless spell, seven or greater, oh, yeah. I'm gonna sack to search. Are you paying the extra one as well for the Dark Steel Forge? Did I see this at the blue one? Yes, I'll pay it with this. Okay, so you can tap it and sacrifice yeah. it? Mm -hmm. it's, okay. it's just sack to search. Okay. So I'll sack to search for a colorless spell, convert man cost seven or greater. Maybe I shouldn't have gone for it. But the upside. It had resolved. Yeah, his artifacts being indestructible is kind of a worry. I'm gonna get a, a, a platinum Imperion. Ah, which is to going to be indestructible. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah. if it weren't indestructible, can someone handle it? There's some it? exile based removal, so. Yeah. Um, I'm also going to cast a Metalwork Colossus for free. <laughs> Paying the one. Yes. I'll take two for that. Okay. I'm gonna oh, take two so he doesn't draw a card. Yes. Platinum Imperion is your life total can't change. Okay. So Wait. I think that that means that we can't deal commander damage either, right? No, I no, can we still can die from commander damage. You can die from yes. commander damage? Okay. Yeah. Well, you'll still take the damage, you just, yeah. You we just have a plan. <laughs> you have a plan. <laughs> and I did play my land. Know. That is a good question. I'm going to go ahead and pass. Like I said, Kozlex can stay on defense. All right, upkeep, uh, trigger my Dragon Master Outcast. 
six or more lands. I have six lands, so we make a five five dragon. All right, so we have an enemy. Mm -hmm. Not me, <laughs> the guy who just created a dragon, right? Draw for turn. <laughs> well, the guy who countered my seed board means. <laughs> Had to happen. You're dead to me. I will okay. never forgive you. <laughs> okay, so we could also ghost court or something. Uh, but I don't really know if this is lands actually the target anymore since there's so much stuff on the field. Well, if you can yeah. slow him down. I think that he probably has basics, so you're, you know, if he had a card like uh, Rogue's Passage, maybe you want to oh, yes, save yes. it for that. Yeah. Could possibly do. Well, you put him down a mana. If you get rid of the Ancient Tomb, yeah, that's... But minus one mana. We have to deal with the artifacts first. We yeah. need some kind of like exile or bounce effects to I'm deal with him. Why do you mm -hmm. think I'm a threat? <laughs> well, you do, you counter my seed one. You counter my seed one. Do you know how many activations this would have got? Yes, been beautiful. No. Yeah, for you. <laughs> I did the table a favor. You did yourself a favor. <laughs> no one die. <laughs> That's fair. All right. So we're one mana short from doing both of these, but do we can still do this. Asking for friend. Uh, we'll play two life for our stopping grounds. So we can theoretically put a lot of damage on the board next round. Hmm. Hmm. We kill the card in my hand. We're gonna cast Warbreaker. It's exile, right? Yeah, it's exile. Uh, cast trigger, exile target artifact enchantment or the land. Dark Steel Forge. <laughs> uh, the that's dark what I'm Steel saying. <laughs> Let's talk about this. <laughs> the dark well, Steel Forge. Cast trigger right now. I didn't just swing at you. That's true, but there is like so much power over there. I can kill you next turn if you decide to take out our steel forge. We'll, we'll take out that. We'll, we'll protect you. We'll protect you. <laughs> we, we will protect you. Okay, so cast trigger, target, dark steel forge. Alan, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Just thought I'd let you know that. All right. Uh, yeah, everything is going to be on defense now. Pass it. <laughs> Untap. <clears throat> Draw for turn. Okay. Add two colorless. Um, Fracturing ghost. Alan, would you be willing and able to block my Hornet Queen with your uh, dragon? Uh, don't do it. It's a deal um, with the devil. I can deal with Jonathan's board state if you do so. Oh, losing a 5-5? Five five losing a 5-5. Five five you get a new one next turn. Exactly. And yeah. get rid of Kozlek, hopefully? Not, not Kozlek, <coughs> oh. but I guess I'll other cards. Time. Oh, okay. We'll see. Okay. Well, I'm going to play Fortified Village tapped. Mm -hmm. And I want to be able to still deal with Dan uh, Jonathan's board state. Mm. Look at Russell's board state over here. Russell's got a pretty good board state, too. Yeah. What do I have over here? <laughs> oh, you saw it on one. A bird. And some dumb guys. There are two drops. Okay, so I actually have to use some of this colorless before, I think. Um, yeah, you only get it pre-combat. Yeah, least. I only get it pre-combat. So yeah. it might actually be better to do this instead. Hmm. Um, yeah, I may not need you, Alan. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to use wow. the two colorless. Let's see. One, two, and then... No, I still need your help. Uh, <laughs> he's a strong independent rune. Who don't know? <laughs> no Mina. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to still need your help in order to do what I want to. Um, so yeah, I have to use one of the colorless before and play... Let me just make sure. Maybe I'd... I'm just going to fizzle the colorless, actually, rather than... Yeah, I think that's that's what I want to do. It's three and three. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to fizzle the colorless. I don't necessarily need it right this second. Um, so combat, Alan, I'm attacking you with my Hornet Queen. Don't block it. I think should block uh, it so all. if I block it, it dies. Are you trying to mimic back it? Yes, I'm gonna. I'm going to, to mimic, mimic back it. it. Mm. And then assume I'm... that there's an aura shards coming too. Don't do it. He's gonna start blowing up a lot so, of stuff. But not your stuff. A you lot of Jonathan's stuff. Let's get rid of 
Colossus, then yeah, you get rid of four cards up to. Four cards, yep. Hmm, but that gives you infinite Hornet Queens. It does. You uh, need to think just about one, this. Just one a turn. One a turn. One a yeah. turn. It's not that scary. Honestly. Infinite yeah. Hornet Queen tokens. That is still. One a turn. It's not that big <laughs> so of a deal. He gets another four tokens. Until he uh, overruns or something like that. Don't have that. Triumph of the Hordes. Mm -hmm. Don't listen to him. <laughs> no, I don't have Triumph of the Hordes in but here then either. We know there's a Platinum Pier and also in hand, so. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they can already deal with that since my so you're Dark Steel Forge is taken yeah, care we'll of. Okay, block on the Hornet Queen. It has Death Touch too, right? It does have Death yeah. Touch. That's why That's why I asked. Uh, Mimic Vat is going to trigger. I'm going to put Hornet Queen under the Vat. And then I'm going to head to my second main phase and cast an Aura Shards. And then hmm. um, oh, does that resolve. resolve? Oh, man. If it doesn't resolve, this was Three all mana. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, from there, I'm going to pass the turn. I don't necessarily need to mimic that right this second. No, you should probably do it before his turn. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, the plan is to do it before his turn. Okay, so... So this isn't live yet, but it's a good one. Well, now you have to worry about Austin. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to activate our Yison for two. And we're going to go search for a creature with two converted mana costs. We are going to get Scrib Ranger. The reason we're doing this on our turn is because we do not have a land drop to make. So the opportunity cost of returning a force to our hand is not very high. Scrib Ranger will enter the battlefield. And then we will activate her. And I'm just going to flip her upside down to denote that I've activated her this turn. I will turn a force to my hand. I will untap Yisan. And I will play a forest for turn. And, um,. What can you kill over there? Five of, like, all of his artifacts? Yeah. So what artifacts are in your graveyard currently? A Ring of Free Wishes. Right. Okay, so we have to keep in mind that it, you probably need to start by killing a Retriever. They all go at once. Because all four of them come in at once. No, those each a trigger. So Yeah, I stack the stack triggers. triggers. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So the last trigger on the stack should be your Retriever. Yeah, that was... Hmm. Um, but he will get a ring of three wishes back, so something we want to keep in mind. But mm -hmm. you can kill everything, right? Yes. Okay, so I don't need to interact with any of this stuff on my turn, is the question. Hmm. Okay, uh, we're just going to pass the turn. Then. Okay, during the end step. Oh, too late, you passed. <laughs> <laughs> too late, too late. Uh, I'm going to tap my Mimic Vat and three mana to make a Hornet Queen uh, look, token. Look what you did, Alan. And then from there, I'm going to make four more. I mean, that doesn't matter. He's just going to. Tokens and trigger no, aura shards four times. Well, that's not what you need to worry about. And uh, so I'm going to stack the triggers to where, obviously, Mirror Retriever is going to go to the yard first. So how are you stacking them? <laughs> <laughs> just those three? Um, I'm thinking about it. Because I have Mimic Vat and Soul Ring, so I'm getting two mana for Ooh, free myself. Don't get greedy. And so don't, get greedy. <laughs> don't get greedy over here. I could get greedy um, and grab the, the free mana by leaving this around. How much mana will you have after this? Two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, mm -hmm. correct? Um, Keep in mind, he, had, he will have a Ring of Three Wishes, too. He will have a th Ring of Three, three Wishes. Um, no matter what Colossus can come back by stacking two artifacts. Okay, yeah, I, I'm going to destroy everything. Yes. So, so how you put them first? So it's going to be where um, Mirror Retriever is going to go to the yard first. So okay. Then, then the other three are going to hit the yard. In response, um, to Mirror Retriever. So. So yeah, just that order is fine. Well, you should do Metal Work Colossus next to last as well. Oh, yeah? Well, because yeah. he can sack the Mirror okay. Retriever to return it. Mm -hmm. 
Well, it is next to last, so that's good. Okay, that's fine. So I'm gonna get a ring of three wishes back. Lose four artifacts. And then I'm scoop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you still have a Kozilek in play. Yeah. And a ton of mana. Yeah. I don't have a ton. You of have mana. quite a bit of mana. Six. It's it's setting you back, but I think you'll you'll recover. I don't think I will. Okay, mm. so you can untap now. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna play my land. I'm also gonna play my warden. Uh, are you paying the extra one? Yes. Okay. No draw. Okay. Um, so I flip this back. Just it's Alan, worth noting, I can do this each turn. If I have uh, minutes. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be taking twelve. I don't really want to block with anything. So that's twelve commander damage. Yep. yep. So thirty-five or thirty-seven. So we keep blocking. <laughs> you need a twenty-five. I'm gonna give him unblock. Well, next turn, just kill you. <laughs> I'll pass. Commander yeah. damage. All right. He's down. Why'd you make him so mad? <laughs> Upkeep, so make a dragon. He couldn't attack me. I could draw. I mean, I could have blocked. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. With his eight Bs. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we've been triggered. And Heart Queen token goes away. Oh, yeah. At his end step. Um, we're just gonna. Sylvan Scrying. That's okay. Land. How scared are we of Mimic that now? Kinda Currently, scared. not really scared. Not as I mean, the fact that it interacts with aura shards, I think, is the biggest worry for you guys. Yeah, but it doesn't. Is uh, aura shards in May? Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. You can not destroy artifacts. Hmm. We're gonna get Keswick to our hand. And did you pay the extra one for that? Uh, no, I did not. Okay. Why are draw? you letting him draw cards? Ah, I need my mana. I thought the rule was always pay for a six study. <laughs> I'm dealing two damage to myself to pay for a six study. <laughs> well, that's between you and whatever Eldrazi you you pray to. Yeah. <laughs> so. Hmm. You played Warden of Geometry the last turn. Yes, I did. I play Zendikar's uh, Royal. Bang the extra one. We cannot. Draw. Uh oh. That's gonna start getting insane over there. Uh, landscape, trigger, get a 2 2. Play the Keswick, get a 2 2. See, yeah. you could have paid the extra one. He just chose not to. But I needed a 2 2. You need Otherwise a 2 2. Oh, yeah, I'll miss the land. You didn't hole. need 2 2s. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's nothing else that's going on. What's happening here? There's lots of things there. I got some, some insects. This is a 2 3. Should probably just attack. Oh, why is Wolf Raven not vigilance? It's okay. Yeah, it's what are you thinking? Guys. I'm thinking of attacking Jonathan. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> you won't. I'm gonna get him. Because <laughs> Warbreaker's not gonna be blocking insects, anyways. And then Kozlek has Menace, but we can just block with our other guys. Yeah, we're sending our commander and Worldbreaker at Jonathan for nine and four commander. I'll take nine. All right. You're still dead next turn. <laughs> I'm done. Uh, untap. 23. Draw. Hmm. Not really wanted what I wanted to see at this moment. Um, I'm really just looking for some things to bounce. <laughs> I'm gonna play a forest, and I could play rune here for next turn, giving him a target. Uh, I'm a little worried that Russell might destroy my mimic that. Huh. It's a possibility. 
I could. I have my finger on the trigger. I'm, I'm waiting <laughs> to see what you do. Okay. So the question is, do Don't I want to play <laughs> rune and just kind of hold back with that for a turn? Um, it doesn't really do me any good. So I'm going to pay four mana and cast... Panharmonicon. Oh. Well, <laughs> that's not something you want to let happen a lot. I think uh, you should have any responses to the responses cast. To that? I, do, I do not have a response to the cast trigger. Do you have any responses? Really? You're not going to respond to the cast? So you can blow up Minimpact before he gets it? Well, <laughs> I would rather destroy Panharmonicon because it's. I mean, that's understandable. He's going to get. What was it, eight bees? <laughs> eight, yeah. eight insects. Well, I have, I have, um... He, he'd rather destroy Panharmonicon. I have no response. Therefore... <laughs> I don't think the bees are coming at me, and I don't think anybody's going to fault me for destroying a Panharmonicon, because... I think he's going to cast up to pump all his dudes. That could be fun. You are wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm okay with that. I like oh, people man. attacking creatures. <laughs> Progresses the narrative. Yeah. So it resolves. So it resolves. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to attack with some tokens. So just grab another one to denounce which ones are attacking and which ones aren't. I'm going to do four and four. Okay. Um, hmm. Nothing's happening over here. I know. You guys are at a lower life total. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna have Jonathan take four. Why me? You already uh, you dealt with my board. You kept paying the extra one for a stick study. That's, <laughs> I'm, at, that's like, I'm at 19. That's my reasoning. That's why you don't. <laughs> why you don't pay. <laughs> Let him draw. Uh, I'll pass after that. All right, end step. Bard. We're gonna, and add, a, we're gonna add a counter, and we're gonna really, we're gonna really think about our life decisions here. This because, is a Rex age. Because Rex Monocon is a real. It's a real scary one mm -hmm. uh, to just let resolve. But alternatively, so look at the context of our hand really quick. That's that's kind of interesting, actually. I think that's what we're going to do because it's the cool play. So instead of getting Rex Age? We're not going to get Rex Age because oh, okay. you didn't mess with us. Yeah. Ugh. We are going to, though, get a Selvala Heart of the Wild. Ooh, that is a strong card. Mm. Are you about to win? What's the highest power, his uh, commander, yep. right now? 12? It's about to be much higher than that. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, it's like to point out that there's a Scrib Ranger in play. <laughs> there's a Scrib Ranger. <sighs> Things are about to get weird. Okay, so, we will untap. You play spell last turn? I played Panharmonica. Panharmonica, that's right, yeah. Yeah. Um, so we're going to draw for turn. And that could not have been any better. Oh. We'll play a Phyrexian Tower. Okay. Okay. So we're going to sack our Bloodthorn Vampire and add double black. Add a green and cast Varals. Varals, we're going to. Pay a black, and we're going to uh, exile Death's Shadow, and we're going to put 13 1 1 counters. On Cosmic. On Cosmic. So there's a couple of choices here. I think the right choice is Scrib Ranger just because it has the most protection. From, interact, from instant speed interaction. So I'm going to attempt to put 13 1 1 counters on Scrib Ranger. Can you counter that? I cannot. I have no responses. Okay, so. Do you mind handing this one? Yeah. And another one. <laughs> yep. So we have 13 1 1 counters on Scrib Ranger. I'm going to tap to add 8 green, hmm. or yeah, 8 green and 4 black. Then I will activate Scrib Ranger to return this forest and untap Salvala. Yeah, that's so a lot of mana. Oh. 
So you have eight green, four black currently? Oh, uh, sorry. Eight green, six black. Eight green, eight, six black. That's 14. Yeah, it's two. 14 power. Uh, yeah. So with four of that mana, I'm going to attempt to cast Gerard's Orders. <laughs> That's okay. It's good. Um, so you get to search for a creature. Search your library for up to two creatures and reveal them. Put one into your hand and the other into your graveyard, then shuffle. And how many cards do you have in your hand after that? Three. Three. After I resolve it, I'll have one in my hand, yeah, one more, and okay. one in my so graveyard. I'm not paying. Or are you paying? I am extra? paying the one extra, so I'll pay five for this. Okay. Um, so that takes me from sixteen, or sorry, 13, 14 to uh, nine. Kind of want to interact with that, but I think that's okay. okay. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if it's okay. <laughs> In retrospective, uh, <laughs> I may regret that decision, but <laughs> it would not be okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna do a little bit of math here. Better than I was expecting, but uh, forgot. So we just figured out a cool interaction. Hmm. Um, so the two creatures I'm getting are, dr drum roll please. Um, <laughs> so the first creature I'm getting is Eternal Witness, and I'm getting Sidisi. Okay. And I'm actually putting Sidisi in my hand and Eternal Witness in the graveyard. Okay. And then with of my nine mana remaining, um, I'm going to... Make a tenth mana? Make a tenth mana and go down to five mana, not paying... Uh, yes, paying the one. But okay. Four mana. Four cast, mana. Cast yeah. Sidisi. Exploit trigger on this deck. Sorry. Cast Sidisi. Sidisi on this deck. Count. Okay. Ring of Three Wishes. Yeah. Um, so we have four mana left, correct? Yep. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to sacrifice a creature, correct? Right, because the, yeah, the card didn't resolve. resolve. Yep. Okay. We're going to activate Dusk Lord Recruiter to look at the top three for three. So I'll go down to one mana. Yep. And it's a green mana left. Of course. So you need you need green there. mana for Savala. How did uh, Savala get untapped? Uh, with Scrib Ranger okay. and untaps. Yeah. Um, so we'll reveal Pathbreaker Ibex. Okay. And it's when Pathbreaker Ibex attacks, correct, that he yep. gives all creatures plus. Okay. So we'll tap here. Add 14. To add 14 more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we'll go six or six black, eight, uh, eight green. Okay. And um, we're gonna activate her, so we'll go to 10 mana. Yep. And we're gonna activate Islam for a four drop. This is all pre-combat. This is all pre-combat. <laughs> we Still yet. got a 14 uh, creature that can attack. Yes. One of you guys. We're going to get a Sorok the Hunt Caller. Okay. Huh. Sorok the Hunt Caller says, at the beginning of combat on your turn, if creatures you control have total power 8 or greater, target creature you control gains haste until end of turn. Yep. Mm -hmm. We have 10 mana left. Yep. <laughs> Does anyone see where this is going? <laughs> We'll I'm ready. Out. Austin has a fog or something. 
Well, I can tell I can tell Austin that I'm probably not attacking him. Mm. Are you attacking me? Attacking both of you. <laughs> so here's the thing. I have to have a six mana spell resolve for this to work. And there's a very real possibility he has a six mana card in his hand, so maybe we do nothing. That is a possibility. Mm -hmm. You could pass turn. You I, could just pass, pass. I could just pass turn, that's true. So Um, so we still have 10 mana floating. Yeah, because we activated this, right? Okay. Yeah. So we are going to spend three of it going to seven to activate Dusk Watcher Creeper again. Okay. Okay. We're going to draw. Yeah, it's good. Hmm. <laughs> oh man. Now we, now we have to guess whether he has a six or a four. <laughs> this is an interesting little <laughs> sub game here. You don't have to guess, it's just you're gonna have to take the risk. So, maybe you have both. <laughs> seven mana left. So we can do both of these. And you're at 19? I am at 19. Do you have a flyer? Asking for a friend. <laughs> Is it me? I do not. He has no flyers. Am I the friend that you're asking for? <laughs> uh, I will not pay one to cast Gerard. Okay. Mm. And I will draw. Will Gerard resolve? Are you going to swing at me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty clear he will swing at you. Not often. Let's talk no. about this. I don't think yes. he has the four. <laughs> hmm. You remember when you countered my four <laughs> muse? This you know, is kind of that's fun. Okay. Uh. Um. Okay, so we have three mana remaining. Um. Uh, this is, I don't think it's better, the bigger, but one, two, three, four, five, six. So this comes in as an eight, eight. Hmm. Um, I'm going to activate Duskwatch Recruiter one more time. All right. This is the card we want. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we were going to see DC for. It is unfortunately not a creature. Find mm. puppeteer click. We'll hope our opponents haven't read that card. <laughs> what does it do? <laughs> <laughs> puppeteer click. Flying. When puppeteer click enters the battlefield, put target creature from an opponent's graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. It gains haste. At the beginning of your next end step, exile it. And she has persist. Mm -hmm. huh. So, mm. pretty much nothing. <laughs> she just kind of hangs out here. And um, we're going to use our last, no, we're not going to do that. We actually like Visitor's here right where she's at. Uh, move to combat. Attempt to move to combat. Sure. In the begin combat step, I am going to give haste to Gerard. All good. Okay, so we're attacking these. So if he block, he can't block here, because if he does, he's dead. So we're gonna attack these at you. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> so how much is that? So this is fourteen in the air. This okay. is nine on the ground, and this is two on the ground. So just to confirm, one, two, three, four, five, six creatures. So sorry, this is an eight. Eight on the ground. Okay. So you have 24 damage heading his way. Yes. So this 14 in the air. Uh, hmm. What if I just want to take it and die? You That's could, your prerogative. You can block something and try I mean, and I could, but do I want to? Help the board out. 
The question is, do I want to? Because I've been targeted all game. Mm. Uh, <laughs> uh, targeted most of the game. To be fair. Pretty much all game. <laughs> to be fair. You played a turn one metal worker. This yeah. is true. <laughs> but even after my board was wiped, I still got... Yeah. So this is a political strategy called the Martyr Complex. But what you do is try to make the rest of the table feel bad for you. <laughs> so that they don't attack you. And it doesn't work. That's fine. It I'll doesn't work. I'll just block your 2-3. Your 2-2. Two, two. The dust okay. launch. Yep. So you will die. Cool. Yeah. Unless anyone has any responses. I have, I have no responses. Okay. I can't. I'm dead. All right. Dust watch recruiter is dead. <sighs> All right. That's all we got. What do we that's even that's do? it for our turn. I don't know. What do we do, Alan? So we'll untap, upkeep, make a dragon token uh, from Dragon Master Outcast, and then draw for turn. So. So we're in trouble? Yeah, we're in trouble. <laughs> I mean, it's untapped we're going to die next turn. Maybe. We're probably going to die next turn. <laughs> Maybe. Well, the Pathbreaker Ibex is the biggest problem. You can play that, give it haste, and attack with it, and yeah. deal enough damage to probably probably take us both out, I feel like. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, currently it's getting plus 14, plus 14 before yeah. I do any shenanigans with Brawls, so each of these creatures will be attacking with plus 14. So <laughs> I think there's, like... Yeah, not even counting the attacks, you can also draw... Yeah, there's something like yeah. 120 yeah. damage it's on board. <laughs> oh. So, this deck doesn't have really any creature removal. But they do not get trample um, no. from Pathbreaker. They don't? No. Are you certain of that? Because I thought that Oh, no, trample. they do get trample. I'm they sorry. do I get trample. Of, I, I thought just Creator Hook gave it, but no, he gives <laughs> no, them trample. No, they both give trample. Yeah, yeah, they can't block either, so pretty much. Um, I mean, this is the best card in our hand. Uh, so, look, just Green Sun for X equals. <clears throat> Six. Are you paying the extra one? Uh, you shouldn't. You should not pay it. I mean, you should pay it. Yeah, but, but it, for uh, for but for our sake, you should not uh, pay it. Because <laughs> uh, he, I'm sure, has a non-zero chance to draw wrath, right? Uh, we don't even have this, so we can't even cast this other card. So yeah, we can't cast anything. So we'll just pay it. You're gonna pay the one? Are yep. you sure about that? We'll yes. pay the one. Ah, you shouldn't because pay the one. Because we don't have any other place. Oh goodness. <laughs> Maybe that'll save you, Alan. <laughs> when the game's over, I'm gonna look at what's six yeah. deep and, <laughs> and, and then see what. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Yeah. We're gonna don't get. Don't do that to yourself. If it's yeah. not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to play Thunder, uh, Foot Bailoff. Okay. It'd be great if he just got Crater Hoof and killed me. It was like, ha ha, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Not as strong. Uh, so everything gets plus two, plus two, and trample. But this dragon just came into play, and this came into play, and we don't have haste either. So that's mm. unfortunate. So we have, what, seven power, four and four. <clears throat> so we have 11 and what, 15 here. Uh, not not, I'm going to have 16 during You're my next have 16. turn as well. Or so I have 18, actually. I have 7, uh, 4, so 11, mm -hmm. 15, 15 and 6, I have 21, plus another 7, 28, I have 31, pretty much. 31 damage. That may be. 31 what we need. trampling. So, I would hmm. I would risk it. I mean, we're we're in a bad situation if we can't. Uh, so, like attacking all out is, is probably our best bet at this point. Unfortunately. Yeah, 31 trample, and I'm at 26, it's 25. I really wish we had another four or <laughs> So we he's gonna block the all. largest thing, so dragon is the largest, oh, dragon or world breaker. Yeah, I mean, we have to swing sideways, otherwise we just die the next turn anyway, so. <sighs> Everything. So we will return this forest to our hand. Let's just make sure we're not missing anything major here. So. Yeah. Um, something to note when you're playing a deck like this, every piece of mana, even though it seems like you have a lot, matters. So knowing what you leave untapped and stuff can be very integral to how you're able to block later. If we had played our turn a little tighter last turn, um, we could have put ourselves in a much better spot. That's cool. 
Um, so what we're going to do is, in order to, you know, in an effort to kind of not die, uh, we're going to return this force to our hand and untap our Rib Ranger. And um, then we'll move to blocks, assuming nobody has effects. No effects. Um, inside of blocks, what's your biggest creature? It's either the Dragon 7-7 seven, seven, or the World Breaker, which would be a 7-9. So what are your creatures getting pumped from? The Thunderfoot. They're getting plus two, plus two, and trample as long as I have my commander. Okay, so the 7-7. Seven, seven. So first of all, we have to we have to do some math here. So how much you said that was thirty one? So we can do seven here, plus four, eleven plus another four, so that's fifteen, plus six, twenty one, plus seven, uh, twenty eight, plus three, thirty one. Thirty one. Okay. So I don't. We may just have to uh, give up on the give our guy haste and kill him plan because. Effectively, if he end steps a Mimic Bat Hornet Queen, what we're dealing with is another eight tokens plus a Hornet Queen token, um, which is 16, that's, that's 18 flying damage that all has death touch. We really don't want to block any of those. So really we're trying to not, you know, we're trying to stay above 18 here, um, which, which is gonna be hard. Uh, so we're definitely going to block the 7-7 seven, seven flyer with our big script ranger. We're going to block, do they have trample? They have trample. It, does that, is that what the Thunderfoot gives yes. them too? Okay. Mm -hmm. So they're all trample. So it's 31 total So we trample. can absorb two points of damage with our commander, which is something we definitely want to do. Um, so we're going to absorb it here. And um, then Warbreaker. Uh, Mina is a six six. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so we're not going to do that. We're going to absorb two on Mina with Valraz and four. Well, so if we absorb two and then seven, that's nine. So that put that would be twenty one right, damage coming in, which would put us at seventeen, which is. <laughs> and this is true, less than 18. Yeah. 17 we is less we did than fact 18. Track. We, we did yeah. fact check this, and it is less. So we have to block with everything. Yes. And there's not a way to block with Sirach and let him live. And so we're going to lose our commander in Sirach. We're going to block the World Breaker with Sirach okay. and absorb four there. And then we're going to block Dragon Master Outcast with rolls and absorb another two. So you're absorbing six and seven, so 13 is absorbed from the yeah. 31. Okay. And that's some incalculable math. <laughs> so we'll go to 25. Yeah. Okay. And then you take mean and end damage? Yes. How much? The full six, or did you? Uh, no, no, no. You absorbed uh, two. We absorbed two of it, okay, so we so take, take four. Four, commander. Okay. And, so and I'm gonna make. Uh, your green I'm gonna green. just use this chance now to make my uh, my four Hornet Queen tokens. Yeah. You make eight, correct? Eight. Sorry, eight. Eight from Panharmonicon. Eight from Panharmonicon. So oh. mimic that. Two, six, eight. Now, there's certainly a world where we were supposed to go cut it a little closer to enable this, um, but. I don't know that that would have been necessarily worth it because we're so close to dying to him. Actually, what I'm going to do here instead is I'm going to wait because I think if I can stack this properly, hmm. I'm pretty sure. I'll, I'll ask you guys after, but okay. like when it when the trigger does resolve. So are you done after that? Yes. Okay. I'm so done. during your end step. That's what I'm gonna make the tokens. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you get. That's what I was saying. Yeah. You get You'll the get Hornet Queen until your end step. Yeah. Next so end step. Yeah. yeah. So it comes out. It's gonna stay until my end step. Yeah. That, this is that a token. The, yeah. This is a token. Yes. I'm probably gonna make a, a second one. And there are no artifacts on board, correct? Enchantments. I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna blow up. Uh, 
Was that really relevant? It is. Hey, you didn't pay for his wristic study. You didn't pay for I mean, his study. You did pay for his wristic study. You I mean, did. So <laughs> I know, and I still get yourself. punished. <laughs> Try harder. Okay, so I'm up to 18 insects. Six, 16, right? You had eight out, you made eight? Yeah. Um, so that's, wouldn't that be two less? I had I had four tapped. And, and then four, four untapped. You had four eight total, eight. So and then you made eight. So 16. Yeah. Okay. Bees, man. <laughs> yep. All right. Um, so I'm going to draw for turn. Uh, hmm. That could have been relevant, actually. <laughs> oh. uh, but it's not, unfortunately. Uh, that's actually... Pretty interesting how that interaction uh, matters as the game progresses. Um, so I'm gonna pay three mana. I'm gonna cast a Mole Drifter, evoke it. Panharmonicon's gonna trigger, and I'm gonna draw four cards. You gotta mimic that trigger too if you'd like it. Um, I don't <laughs> think pretty, I want it. It's a pretty decent one. I know it's a good <laughs> choice, but I'm gonna put it in the yard instead okay. and draw four cards. Hopefully I can find something. I got him. <laughs> that, uh, that's helpful. Um, hmm. I have five mana remaining. And unfortunately, none of it is blue. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> Well, I had to tap the blue mana to Moldrifter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Huh. Play of Planes. That's not blue. It's not blue. I'm like, do you need an island? <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe. Uh, don't do it, Ellen. I need to ensure that I don't lose either. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, let me see. Let's talk. Let's talk. Um, I, I no longer have a, a haste enabler for my guy. Not this second, but yes. If you want to in response at some point. So Alan, he's drawn like a million cards. I, I no know. longer am representing lethal. <laughs> you know. He is no longer representing Look how much lethal. life he has too. Yeah, 40, what, what are we doing? A million we need to hornets? shift the tension now. He's drawn yeah. a thousand <laughs> cards. <laughs> he, has an, he killed your Zendikar Royal. <laughs> I know. I think we just need to take him out, Alan. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he still has a way to produce so much mana during his turn. I, I mean, I don't believe you. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> you've got a you've got a board state. Um, He's just a big script ranger. I'm just debating on whether I want to attack with my tokens. I mean, I'm I'm going to enter combat, hmm. and I am going to attack with the Hornet Queen for sure. Sure. Um, since I can't kill you, Russell, um, I'm. Wondering, That's a lot of damage to absorb. 16 tokens and they all have death touch. Yeah, they all yeah. have death touch. Um, you have a ton of mana. I mean, I guess bringing out Pathbreaker isn't that big of a deal because you don't have the currently a way to give it haste. Yeah. Um, Alan's stuff has trample. So if I do get attacked next turn, it's going to be... A problem. Am I getting attacked next turn? <laughs> I don't know. I could not even be. A, I could just die to Russell. You somehow. could just die. We we both could die to Russell. You, have, you do have a lot of damage on board for for this, so <laughs> it's tough. I don't know who's the bigger threat. He's got yeah. a million cards. He's got a million power. <laughs> I don't have a million. Power. So yet. <laughs> I'm gonna swing across um, to Russell with ten. So 12 total, or 8 tokens in a... 12 to total. So 10 oh. tokens, and leaving 6 back on defense. I'll go to 13. Okay. Um, Wait, are those tokens blue? No. <laughs> that would be good if they were blue. Be good for me. Yeah, I know. Um... So I don't really have much else I can do with my mana here, um, besides mimic vatting in more Hornet Queen tokens, um, which I want to do. 
So I, I have an extra three mana I can use, and I think a good idea would be to play this Eldrazi Displacer. Ooh. Ooh. Just to put three points of defense on the board because uh, exiling a token and it won't it won't come back. With yeah. it. So there's there's not really much also I can do with it. Don't have wingdings to enable it yet either. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well. So that's that's pretty much it, I think, from there. Okay. Let's just play the displacer and then Hornet Queen token's gonna go away. Sorry. And I've got some blockers. Am I gonna do it? Yeah, here you go. I have to discard for right. hand size real oh, quick. Sure. I can let you do that first. So might be discard. relevant. Not An angel two. condemnation. Yeah, just the angel angel. I can have I seven cards. It? Um so I can tap it and uh, pay three mana to exile one of my own creatures and return to the battlefield, or I can pay three and uh, tap and exert it in order yeah. to exile one of your creatures until it leaves. I just I revealed the puppeteer click earlier. That's what I was yes. I don't know that it's that good of a target, but yeah. it is a target. It's a little bit better than Mold Drifter, though. Mold Drifter is a good target. Okay, so let's draw for turn. This has got to be a good one. Actually, it doesn't really. Um, so we're definitely playing forest. <laughs> 100% playing forest. Yep. Um, question is, what do we do next? And I think we start by paying green into Selvala and adding 14 mana. And we're going to make it 8 green. We're going to make it 10 green, 4 black. Yeah. That's pretty good. Hmm. And then the first thing we're going to do is with three of that, going down to seven green, four black, we're going to activate this. Okay. Go to 11 mana. And you get a five? Yes. Now what five we get is really an interesting decision here. Um, and one that I'm not mentally prepared to make. I think that the choice is likely this. So we're going to get a slime. And with acidic slime, we're going to destroy the panharmonicon. Okay. And this should prompt a response from our opponent. This yeah. kind of what we're looking for. I'm going to respond. Right. I'm going to mimic that, Hornet Queen, yep. and then make eight more tokens. Man. So you know, it was pretty pretty obvious that this is going to happen, but um, in the event that our opponent has some kind of instant speed interaction, this forces him to either have less bees or to represent that instant speed interaction, which which lets us say like whether the whether the path is clear or not. And so next, what we're going to do is we're going to Currently, we have 11 mana left. So if we untap this, we use it again for the 8. Cast it, go to 3. Yes, okay. So we return a force to our hand and untap Yisan. Then we pay 3 of the remaining 11 mana, going to 8 mana to activate her for 6. Mm -hmm. We're going to get Green Warden of Marasa. Mm. Yeah. It's a good choice. Green Warden of Marasa is going to return Sidisi to our hand. We promise Green Warden of Marasa is in our deck. We're just bad at looking for things. When Green Warden of Ross enters the battlefield, you may return target card from your graveyard to your hand. When it dies, you may exile it. If you do, return target card from your graveyard to your hand. So, yeah. first thing we're going to do is 
We're going to return Sadisi to our hand. No responses. Oh. Force is in our hand. We are going to sacrifice Greenwood of Marasa for black black, mm -hmm. exiling it to return Viserys here to our hand. Okay. With one of the black, we're going to cast Viserys here. Okay. How much mana do you have remaining in your pool? So we went from 11 to 8 mm -hmm. and then 8 to 7. Mm. By casting this And you added two from the and then or, yeah, so eight to ten and then ten to nine to cast this here. Okay. Then we'll go from nine to four to cast Sidisi Undead Vizier. Mm -hmm. We're going to exploit it to itself. Yep. To tutor for a card. And the card we're gonna get. Is this one? I'm pretty sure you're going to cast it soon, probably. Yes, <laughs> I'm going to yeah. cast it. But first, <laughs> first thing I'm going to do is with my uh, so I have four remaining mana. Mm -hmm. Six. I'm going to sacrifice all the creatures on my board. And so I'm going to scry, if you just mind if I shortcut this, I'm going to scry yep. seven times. Go ahead. So you're sacrificing all your creatures to scry seven times. Yep. Bottom. Bottom, two, three, top. So these are all going to go to the graveyard. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, Mimic Fat. Sure. It's going to trigger. Yeah. And I'm going to see if I want to take one. Um, so I'm assuming there's going to be some sort of mass, like reanimate, reanimate spell that's going to. Maybe I just it, want to die. It's my. <laughs> I'm I'm thinking uh, the one that you know sets all our creatures aside and yeah. you know brings back every creature in the yard. Um, so I'm wondering if there's something here I want to take from him, you know, to prevent him from, you know, just going like out of control. Um, based on what's in the yard. Actually, kind of hard to see everything here. So let's see: Sidisi, Sirak, Seedborn oh. Muse. That's a big one. Um, Seedborn Muse and and Yisen and well, they're not going to be able to tap just yet. But it's like, I feel like Drod might be the best choice here. Probably. Of the of the choices, just try and keep you off that. Um, activate ability to drain us out. Mm-hmm. Yep. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of mm. in terms of choices. I mean, I'd love to keep my, my Hornet Queen uh, around, but with Panharmonicon gone, it's like, what do I do? Um, so let's go ahead and let's take the Gerard. Oh, sorry. Under Mimic Bat. So obviously because this is a DC, this scry wasn't that relevant, but... Hornet Queen. Uh, Hornet Queen goes great. Yes, uh, this is the token until the yeah. end of turn. Yep. Once it's gone, well, it'll go to grave. So I'm going to pay the one additional to cast Living Death. Yeah. yeah. So we all, you know, uh, we take our creatures from our graveyard, set them aside, mm -hmm. then sack all creatures in play, then we put the cards that we put from our graveyard into play. It's set aside all creatures in play. Um, right. You exile all creatures, then you sack all creatures you control. You exile all creatures from your graveyard, all right. sack all creatures you control, then return the cards exiled yep. to play. Did they switch the wording on that? No, that's how it's always been wording. Okay. 
So, uh, so these, I'm going to get some Enter the Battlefield triggers. Unfortunate. I'm also going to get some Enter the Battlefield triggers. We didn't have any creatures. No creatures in the yard? No, we okay. didn't have any creatures in the yard. Oh, wait. We actually didn't mean to pay the one for a stick study. I set this turn up to not pay the one. Whoops. Oh, well. Uh, when an eternal witness enters the battlefield, oh um, we're going to target living death. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to stack the triggers so that we draw a card from Selvala. Uh, for, well, that happens first. Mm -hmm. So we draw the card from Selvala yeah. because we had the biggest creature in yeah, the battlefield. Yeah, the biggest creature. And that's that one. Um, and then we are going to do the exploit trigger for Sidisi. And we are going to sacrifice, um, let's see here. We're going to sacrifice the Street Wraith. And you put Mina and Den in the yard? Which one? Mina and Den? Or did you put her in oh. the command zone? Do you want her in the command My zone? My mistake. No, it's uh, all right. And then we're going to tutor for a card with Sidisi. We have no mo mana floating left. It's important. Yeah. I mean, he's going to be able to give his cre one of his creatures haste in a minute. Um, I mean, yeah, it's a rock. rock. Yeah. So no mana floating <sighs> and no way to give Silvala haste. We can give Silvala haste with Strong. Yeah, but no green mana floating. No. So no way to tap Silvala and gain more mana currently. Currently, no. <laughs> okay. That's that's important. Yeah. Oh, man. So that's the card we find. Um, I'll move to combat. Yep. Um, before you move to combat, my, my enter the battlefield trigger resolves too, and I make four, four death touch. Okay. No. Yeah. It went to the yard when I took Gerard yeah. and, and, and I draw cards. So, go ahead. Uh, when I move to combat, I'm going to give Birds of Paradise haste. Okay. I'll move to second main phase. Mm -hmm. In the second main phase, I'm going to cast a Zulaport Cutthroat. Huh. Yeah. It's pretty good. What are you at, Alan? 25. He's at 25. Why am I not a threat anymore? <laughs> um, I will move to end step, and then I have to discard some cards. Uh, I have to discard one card. And I'll just randomly choose, uh, I don't know, Pathbreaker Ibrex. Oh, randomly choose. Yeah. I'll pass turn, and these will untap. This no longer taps for mana, by the way, it's worth noting. Yeah. It doesn't have haste anymore. Doesn't doesn't, it no longer has haste. Yeah. So. yeah. When we have black mana, I keep running into this. Keep bouncing right. your forests. Keep bouncing um, your forests. Yep. Untap, draw. Oh, sorry, I had to discard one more. Oh. Okay. Uh, it's going to be Ronus. Okay. Hmm, I mean, it's not a bad card. But, I have to rebuild everything. Yeah. Yep. Uh, pay six for Rampaging Baylong. Are you paying the one for Rhystic Study? Uh, thinking. <laughs> <laughs> so, if we pay one for Study. Uh, how many cards do you have in your hand? Me? One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, currently. So many cards. I know. Um, does one how do we deal with that? Does one more even matter? Probably not. Probably not. No, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Every card matters. Every card does matter. <laughs> um, so we pay one, we just go down here. Play this. Yeah. Just an elaborate we'll pay, fog. We'll pay the mm -hmm. one. Okay. Oh. Then we're going to tap 
stomping grounds for crop rotation, sacrifice, uh, we'll sacrifice a mountain so to do a rampant growth effect. Except I can get any land card. Comes into play normally too, it doesn't come into play tapped. Yep. Yep. Any land, untapped. Yes. So much black mana. And did you pay the one? Oh, for this one? Yeah, for crop rotation. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's the little victories. <laughs> <laughs> Small victories. Uh, so that's a, that's gonna put a trigger. Uh, Evolving Wilds. It's gonna trigger Rampaging Baylos. Uh, make a four four beast. Four four. Yeah. And we're gonna crack the evolving wilds to make another four four beast and search for another base of land. Yeah. So defenses. Uh yeah, it looks like it. From the uh Zulaport cutthroat, put everything in the yard. Huh. Drain us both for thirteen. Yeah. Uh that's all I got. I mean you don't have to do a lot to stop me from being able to cast that next turn. Yeah. Just kill my entire board. Mm -hmm. I'm Which on is it. not that hard, honestly. <laughs> Get on it. <laughs> so that's it. Yep. That Untab. is all I got. Draw for turn. Um hmm. All right, I've got quite a few cards in hand, but not really much to do with the cards in hand. I've got a draw, so that's something. Yeah, so that becomes a, it's a what, 4-4 four, four right now? 3-3? Three, three? Yeah. So, but you don't, you don't have black mana to don't start throwing bees at me, right? No, I don't have any way to... That's the danger it. of this deck, is that sometimes your opponents throw bees at you, they throw it with your own guy. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to ever run into that. They have death touch, so you they, die. Yeah, you die immediately. Mm. <laughs> I've got 11 power on board. Hmm. Um, uh -oh. And you're at 13. Which, Russell's at 13. Yep. So, and I don't really have much I can do, to be honest. I can instant speed drain you, though. Yes. <laughs> I am aware. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I'm gonna head to combat. Okay. And do you have any flyers besides birds? Uh, Scrub Ranger. Scrub Ranger? Yep. And that has pro blue? Yes. Okay. Um, and that's a 1 1. Okay, I'm just gonna swing all out at you, Russell. And I'm exerting Angel of Combination. So I'm gonna pay three mana mm -hmm. and I won't untap. Uh, so Angel Condemnation will not untap during my next untap step. Okay. Um, but it's essentially, I'm gonna pay the three mana to do so. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna target Zulaport Cutthroat. Okay. Um, with with its exile ability. Oh, I'll respond. Okay. Um, I'm gonna sack acidic slime to scry. Okay. Does that win us the game? No. Mm. Move on. I'm going to sack eternal witness. So uh, before you sacrifice, um, you're gonna gain. Sure. Yeah. Life. We, we can we can do this yeah. as it goes. Yeah. Um, so you each lose a life, I gain a life. Yes. Yeah, go to 24. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna sack Eternal Witness. I'll do it again. I'll gain a Are life. You, oh, actually, let's let's you know what? Let's do it as uh, you you're right. Doing it all at once. So how much life loss? So that way I don't have to. Yeah. Do it each I'm putting time. the li life of life of lo loss of life on the stack. Okay. And just sacking. Okay. Each okay. Okay. So I'll scry. So you're back at what? You're still at 15. Okay. Uh, th I would be at 13. 13. Yeah. 13. 
Okay. Yeah, just two. Yeah. Then do it. Do it at thirteen. That way. Okay. Continue. I'll put this on the bottom. Right. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna do a third one with Dusk Watch Recruiter. Bottom. Do a fourth one with. How much are you attacking for? I am attacking you for 13. Mm. I'm sorry, 11. 11. Okay. Yes. I'll do a fourth one with Blood Throne Vampire. Scry. Top. And then I'll sack this. Okay. And then scry again, leave it on top. So I'm going to drain you each for five. Yep. I'm going to go down 18. to 35. So to 20. And then in combat, there are all flyers that are attacking me, right? All flyers, correct. So I will block Mold Drifter with Scrib Ranger. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then I will take four, six. Four, seven, nine. Oh, this is this attacks and then exerts. And exerts. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I'll take nine and go to nine. Okay. Um, mm. Second main phase. Sorry, did you want, were there any Mimic Vat triggers? No, no Mimic okay. Vat. Um, I don't think that I want to Mimic Vat something. Actually, let's grab a... Cutthroat? I was, I was thinking Eternal Witness. Would be my choice. Okay. You want to turn a witness? Um, it's really tough. Yeah. Because he has, he has ways to get. He's he plans on living death, death pl casting li living death. So I think I think I'm gonna grab eternal witness. Okay. With the, with the mimic vat. It's a pretty good one. Um, and from there, I want to be able to produce. Some more creatures, but it's. I'm a little worried about what might happen. So hmm. I'm gonna play an ancient tomb and cast a. That's six mana. Oh, wait. I've gotta tap a little bit differently. Uh, so I'm gonna lose two. Or maybe I can do this to where I don't lose two. Um, yeah, I think I could just play a different land. So I'm going to play a forest. And tap five mana okay. to cast Karmic Guide, bringing back my Displacer. Okay. And that's my turn. Okay. So draw for my turn. We knew that that one was coming, so we play the forest. We tap the forest. And two black sources. Two Yisan for one. Okay. I get Phyrexian Dreadnought. So we're gonna have two triggers on the stack. The first one is the draw trigger from Salvala, mm -hmm. and then the second one is the Phyrexian Dreadnought sack trigger. We're gonna yep. put them in reverse order so that we draw before we sack. Okay. So we'll draw a card. That's, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. uh, then we're going to pay we're going to add 12 mana to our pool. So let's make it 8 green and 4 black. Okay. And then we will sacrifice the Dreadnought. Mm. 
We're going to spend eight mana. Cast a crater of Venus. <laughs> Um, let's see. Are we just dead? I think we might be. <laughs> hmm. Probably have nine creatures in play. Nine creatures in play? Jeez. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so these creatures are all going to get plus nine, plus nine. Um, so uh, we'll resolve the trigger so that we... This will not be the biggest creature in play, so we don't draw a card. Um, so, we'll spend one of our green remaining mana, uh, return this force to our hand, untap Salvala, and then this time, our biggest creature is, uh, 14, so we'll add 14 green yep. to our pool. Hmm. Um. What do you have in your graveyard still you have? Uh, nothing relevant. No creatures. Oh, I mean. Yeah, there's a, I have no creatures. There's a World Breaker, Thunderfoot, and uh, Dragon Thunderfoot's Master. plus two, plus two, and, uh, and Trample, and yes. Trample. Yeah, so yeah. we're going to click the, <laughs> the Thunderfoot. The Thunderfoot. Yeah. Yeah, it's if you control your commander. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we'll have this Thunderfoot come into play under control. Um, what else do you have in there? Worldbreaker and Dragon Master Outcast. We're gonna sacrifice Puppeteer Click to Phyrexian Tower, adding two black to persist it and return Worldbreaker. Um, when it hits the yard. Okay, sure, sure. Um, how much mana do you have left in your pool? <laughs> um, so this is five. We had uh, fourteen plus the three three remaining, two remaining. Two remaining, so 16. Bunch of green. Blah, 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 I'm going to take Puppeteer Click. Okay. So we did not have a Persist yeah. Trigger. <laughs> We're going to use the two black to cast uh, hmm. or we'll use two green to cast Greaves. Yeah. Um, we'll cast our Commander. We'll put Greaves on our commander, and then we'll have, so, th so that's five, seven, minus uh, the 16. Um, so we have nine mana left. Uh, we'll use one of it to put 13 counters here. Or here, sorry. So we have Exile. Yeah. Make sure we can push through all the damage we need to this turn. Oh. And then we'll... Um, put five counters on the smallest guy. Let's say Seedborn Muse. Do you have some more of the white dice? Yes. Five counters? Yeah. There you go. <clears throat> and then we'll put, I actually don't know this rules interaction. So is this just gonna put two two on it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So we'll put two counters on the, can't put them on here. We'll put them on Viscerous here. Okay. And um, we'll move to combat. Oh. Uh, when we start combat, we're going to give, I guess we don't need to give anything haste, do we? I guess we'll have haste. So they're all going to get plus nine, plus nine. Mm -hmm. They'll trample. Yep. Um, so what do I need to, how much toughness uh, do I need? I'm basically plus at... 11 plus 11. Yeah, so plus, plus two from this. And I'm at 34. Yes. Plus 11 plus 11. Okay, so I just have to attack you with 34. So... This is 16, <laughs> and 16 is 32, and then here is 30, yeah, a lot. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> yeah. Lethal. 
Leak. And then I will attack the rest at you. Just all of it? Austin, yeah. And that's how many creatures? One, two, three? Four. Four? Yeah. Four attacking creatures? Yeah. And that's plus 11, plus 11? Each, yeah. Okay. Um, well, I have one response. I don't think it's going to save me, but I might as well try. Sure. Uh, I'm going to Essence Flux my Hornet Queen, have it come back in, and make uh, some insects. Four of them. Okay. And I just don't think that's enough to so protect me. So you're adding yeah. six more toughness? Or two yeah, yeah, so this is 11. So this is 15. This is 11. Um, plus 7 is... Uh, so 15, 18. We have 33 plus 16 is 49 um, plus the 12, 13. Yeah, that's going to do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good game. Jeez. Yeah. Well, that wraps up this episode of our Multiverses gameplay. If you enjoyed the video and would like to see more games, give it a like, comment to tell us why, share the video on social media, and subscribe to be alerted to future videos. We now have a Patreon page where you can support the channel directly and receive exclusive rewards for your support, while also helping us build new decks for more entertaining games. You can also use the promo code CMDR99 at nextridgegames.com to get the cards you need and support the channel at the same time. Thanks again to Next Ridge Games for letting us film in their shop. A special thanks goes out to our Patreon supporters for helping the channel grow. And thank you for watching.